Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Board of Education business meeting this Tuesday, April 16th. I'd like everyone to please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As many of you know, um, Mrs. Paula Moore, a former Brentwood Board of Education first vice president uh, member and retired employee of the district, passed away last Sunday, April 7th. I'd just like everyone to please join me in honor of Paula with a moment of silence. Let us begin. Thank you, everyone. So we have a lot of special recognitions this evening, Wanda. We really do. I think that they are almost everybody's here, right? So tonight we have a very special night. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we are going to acknowledge a group of. Oh, yes, I always forget to do this. Yes. Okay. So we are going to acknowledge a group of students uh, who participated recently in a competition at Adelphi University. It was called Press Day Quills Award. And guess what? We won everything. <laughs> I am going to read their names. I don't know if everybody's here. So our high school students won first place in five different areas, including the most outstanding newspaper award. So we have to clap for that. <laughs> so I think tonight with us we have Carla Chica. So Carla, Carla, can you stand up? Carla. We have Erica Chavez. Erica Chavez. Soya Tahir, Soya Tahir, Maria Flores, Farah Asalfarani, Andres Rodriguez, I saw Andres over there, Rija <laughs> Tariq, Maham Farouk, Alicia Hassan, Itashim, Itasham Farouk, David Santos, Alejandra Diaz Lopez, Yaslin Mendez, and the advisors, Kelly Bonespina and Joseph Roderick. Can you please stand up? over the five categories that we, we took first in? Of course, so we have Carla Chica, she won first place in best news article, okay? Then we have Maham Siddiqui, who won first place, play, uh, first place in best feature article. Then we have Farah and Soya, who won best opinion article. And then we have Mia, who won the first place in best sports article, okay? so. Wonderful. So let me just see. So Chica won the first, uh, Carla Chica, she won the first place in best news article. So Carla wrote about um, 
the, the title of uh, her news article was Indians No More, Brentwood Prepares to Retire Native American Mascot. She wrote about the background of the mascot, the reasons behind the decision to retire it, and the process involved in selecting the new mascot. Let me just read just one line here that she wrote. Brentwood School District is currently on the hunt for a new mascot. It must continue to uphold Brentwood School District's ideals of excellence in education, athletics, character, and creativity. As an added challenge, it must maintain the traditional green and white colors associated with the district. That was wonderful, Carla. And guess what, Carla? Where are you? I don't see you, Carla. Guess what? <laughs> Tonight, we are going to reveal the mascot. Okay. Is my hand here? Is my hand? Okay. So if you, she wrote an engaging article entitled Back to School, Students Battle High Temperatures and Humid Hallways. This article presented information about the heat wave we encountered last summer and its effects on the student population. It also discussed the need for air conditioning in schools and the impact it can have on the learning environment. And this is what she wrote. The implementation of air conditioning in schools is an investment that contributes not only to the learning environment, but also to the well-being of everyone within the school community. I agree with you. <laughs> Okay, is Farah and Soya, are they here? Okay, excellent. So they wrote an article entitled, Two Steps Forward, One Step Back, which highlighted uh, the information about the introduction of halal food options at the high school and proposed solutions to identify concerns with the quality of the food. And this is what they wrote. The halal food menu enhancements are not just about meeting dietary needs. They are about fostering an inclusive environment that respects and values the cultural and religious diversity of all students. That was wonderful. <laughs> now, is Mia here? Yeah? Mia didn't come, but this is what she wrote. Brentwood Varsity Boys wins it all. This article captured the excitement of our district athletic achievement, and she wrote, sports in high school can be life-changing for many but some may not realize the importance of coaches that can change the course of a school's history. That is so true. <laughs> so let's go. Then we have a student, his name is Miguel Angel Robles Collante, who won the first place in the New York State Association for Bilingual Education. Can you please stand up? It's right here. The question was, why is bilingual education important to you? His winning essay discussed the importance and benefits of bilingualism and multilingualism in society and explored the long-term benefits of being proficient in multiple languages. And this is one line that we wrote. Being able to connect with diverse types of people through language is an enriching skill that will help us improve as society. You're absolutely right about this too. So. So my wonderful students, your collective success makes us all very, very proud, and I'm sure that you're also very proud of yourself. We commend you for your dedication and commitment to connecting with others and for using your voices to educate, to inspire, and to advocate for positive change. And I think that all that we can say is bravo. <laughs> To all the teachers and the advisors, I know that Joe is here, Kelly and Dina Grisales are here also, and the administrators. Thank you very much for, for dedication and for really helping our young leaders get where they want to be. So thank you for yourself. Here is the envelope, the mascot. <laughs> so we have a token of appreciation for each of our honorees this evening. Do you want to call them up? Yes. Okay, okay. so everyone who's uh, being honored this evening, if you would just step forward, we'll give you your certificates and 
Take a group picture with us, please. Yes. Carla, Maham. Oh, oh, oh yes, okay. everyone. Maham. Everyone. Farah. The teachers, too, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's come up. Let's take a picture. Needless to say, we are very proud of our students. Not only do we excel in athletics, also in academia, many areas. Um, do we have our student liaisons this evening? Alicia Arshad and Jermaine Gardner. Hi, Jermaine. Hello everyone, my name is Jermaine. Um, Alicia couldn't make it today, but she wanted me to tell you guys about the, the town hall meeting we're having on May 1st with our, sen our state senator, Monica Martinez. She's coming to Brentwood High School in the Ross Auditorium to talk about um, environmental awareness. A lot of the students and people in the public want to have um, a talk with her and have questions about environmental justice that we're not having around in our, our community. She also wanted me to bring up the department awards that we're going to be having later in the year 
what stuck out to me about this was that it's not only just for students that are in honors classes or like high AP classes. It's also for students who are in the normal region classes or even music. It's all variety throughout the school. So everyone's getting awarded and being seen for something that they're working hard in, regardless of how high status it is in the school. On the topic about students, um, today in MBK, I had my personal fellow event. Um, we visited four houses, actually, sorry, three houses today of um, middle schoolers who feel like dropping out of school or they're failing their classes or they don't feel like they're being a part of the school. They feel like they're being left down, failing, or that they're just not having a good connection with the people around them. I don't, I don't want to get too personal with one of the students, like uh, their home habits and things that's going on with them. But some of the students that we visited today, they're, they're just like high schoolers. They have the same mentality, they work the same way, except they just haven't made it to that stage in life to understand what they should do and where they should be. They're all just living and trying to understand how to get around. So when we visited these students, a lot of them were questioning why they were going to school and if they should even be doing the work or if it's even worth it for them. So me and my fellow MBK members tried to reason with them and be down to earth with them because they probably saw us just like other adults are just talking to them for no reason. So we tried to cheer them up and tell them, hey, we're, we're from the same place. We've been through this experience. We just want to help you and help you understand and guide you. One of the students we actually met was in an MBK group. So he's probably going to see us at the end of the year event if he shows up, hopefully. And we all got to stay in contact with each other. So throughout the year and hopefully next year as well, we'd like to see some improvement with the student. Hopefully they're a little bit happier making better decisions in school and showing up to class. Thank you. Thank you, Jermaine. Thank you, Jermaine. It's beautiful. Do we have any questions from the audience in regards to agenda items only? Agenda items only? Okay, we'll move forward with the rest of this evening's agenda. Be it resolved that the following items be approved. B1A through B1M. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Julie Burgos. I need a second. Second. Second by Brandon Garcia. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Noes? Abstentions? So moved. Be it resolved that the following items be approved. B2A through B2I. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Julia Burgos. I need a second. Second. Second by Maria Malave. All in favor? Aye. 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 Noes? Thank you, Stacy. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Be it resolved that the following items be approved B2A through B2L. I need a motion. Motion, motion by Julia Burgos. I need a second. Second. All in favor? Maria Aye. Malave? Aye. Aye. Noes? Abstentions? So moved. Thank you, Stacy. Be it resolved that the following items be approved C1A and C1B. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Brandon Garcia. I need a second. Second. Second by Eileen Harmon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Noes? Abstentions? So moved. D1A, appointments, resignations, and leaves, certificated personnel. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the certificated personnel action report contained in the board packet for the April 16th, 2024 board meeting. I need a motion. Motion. Oh. Oh, sorry. Okay. There's an amendment to D1A at the very bottom where Ms. April Sinius' name, it's currently assistant coordinator. We are changing that to coordinator. Mm -hmm. 
We need a motion to amend. Motion to amend. By Julia Burgos. I need a second. Second. Second by Maria Malave. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. I've got to read it again. Okay. All right. D1A as amended be resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the certificated personnel action report contained in the board packet for the April 16, 2024 board meeting. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Julia Burgos. I need a second. Second. Second by Maria Malave. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Noes, abstentions, so moved. D1B, be it resolved that upon the recommendation, I'm sorry, appointments, resignation, and leaves non-certificated personnel. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the non-certificated personnel action report contained in the board packet for the April 16th 2024 board meeting. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Brandon Garcia. I need a second. Second. Second by Julia Burgos. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Noes? Abstentions? Yeah. Lip sync? Thank you. <coughs> Abstention? So moved. D1C. Recommended budget for 2024-2025 school year. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent, the Board of Education approves and adopts the 2024-2025 proposed budget in the amount of $603,274,281 with a tax levy of $114,358,000 $27, which does not exceed the statutory tax levy cap, and be it further resolved that the district clerk is directed to include the adopted budget amount in the legal notice and in a proposition for the annual election and budget vote to be held on Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Maria Malave. I need a second. Second. Second by Eileen Harmon. All in favor? Aye. 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 Noes? Abstentions, so moved. D1D, ES BOCES Board Election and Administrative Budget Vote. Be it resolved that the Board of Education hereby votes for the following candidates that are running for office at the Eastern Suffolk BOCES Board Election and Administrative Budget Vote to be held on April 16, 2024. Arlene Boresi, Middle School Country Road. Country, middle, middle country, sorry. Angelo Casarino, William Floyd, Kellyanne Jennings, Patchog Mefford, Joseph Loschiavo, Patchog Mefford, James McKenna, Southampton, Brian O'Mealy, Matatuck Kuchog, Robert Sweeney, Mount Sinai. Be it further resolved that the Board of Education hereby approves or dis hereby approves or disapproves the Eastern, what am I reading here? This, okay. Okay. This is confusing. Why is it? There's two. D1D as amended, we're only going to select, okay. as amended, we're going to remove number three, Kellyanne Jennings. I 
and only have Joseph Loschiavo from Pat Med. I need a motion. Motion to amend, yeah. Motion to amend. Motion to amend. I need a motion. Yeah. Need a second. Second. By Brandon Garcia. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? So moved. D1D, as amended, be it resolved that the Board of Education hereby votes for the following candidates that are running for office at the Eastern Suffolk BOCES Board election and administrative budget vote to be held on April 16th. Arlene Boresi, Middle Country. Angelo Casarino, William Floyd. Joseph Loschiavo, Pat Med. James McKenna, Southampton. Brian O'Mealy, Matatuck Kuchab. Robert Sweeney, Mount Sinai. Be it further resolved that the Board of Education hereby approves the Eastern Suffolk BOCES administrative budget that is presented in the BOCES budget book that was provided to the Board of Education and be it further resolved that the district clerk is directed to fill out the ballot and sign the certification form for the BOCES board election and administrative budget vote and return the completed documentation to Eastern Suffolk BOCES. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Julia Burgos. I need a second. Second. Second by Maria Malave. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? So moved. D1E. Memorandum of Agreement between Brentwood UFSD and Brentwood Teachers Association, BTA. Be resolved that the board president is authorized to execute a memorandum of agreement with the Brentwood Teachers Association dated April 16, 2024, which agreement has been reviewed by the Board of Education. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Eileen Harmon. I need a second. Second. Second by Brandon Garcia. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Noes. Abstentions? So moved. D1F, Administrative Table of Organization, Coordinator of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, DEI. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education hereby appoints Ms. Amanda Chansing as Coordinator of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, DEI, for a four-year probationary period effective May 20th, 2024, through May 19, 2028, at a salary as set forth in the negotiated agreement between the Brentwood Union Free School District and the Brentwood Principals and Supervisors Organization, BIPSO. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Julia Burgos. I need a second. Second. Second by Maria Malave. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Noes? Abstentions? So moved. Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> So Send up so all the people can. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to our family, Amanda. <laughs> E1A student enrollment figures. As of February 23rd, 2024, our total enrollment was 18,136. As of March 22nd, 2024, our total en enrollment is 18,203 students. Special education enrollment figures, elementary, 1,265. Middle school, 638. Freshman campus, 190. Senior high school, 616. Attending out of district schools, K through 12, 401. Resource related services, district residents, 54. Approved preschool programs, 427. Related services, preschool programs, 214. F1 through 5, miscellaneous items for information only. We have board action memos of the March 6, 2024 BOE special meeting, BOE workshop, and the March 21st BOE business meeting. Secondary leadership team meeting minutes of March 21st, 2024. Budget hearing and board of education workshop, May 9th, 2024. Budget and candidate vote, May 21st, 2024, and Board of Education business meeting, May 22nd, 2024. G1A, old and new business, Wanda. Excellent. So I have a few uh, announcements here before we continue and we reveal the new mascot. 
So our annual uh, parent survey is now available and we encourage all of our families to participate. Uh, this survey is given each year to better understand the quality of our schools from the perspective of our parents. Tomorrow you will see a link on our, pay, on our uh, webpage and we encourage our families to, to participate. We use the information really to make decisions about our schools. And our very own Eileen Felix was awarded the Outstanding School Board Service Award by NASA and Suffolk uh, School Boards Association. This is a very prestigious award. She will be honored on May 30th. And we know the passion and commitment that Ms. Felix has here for our students and for the community at large. And really doesn't surprise us that she won this award. So thank you very much. And this is I didn't think that I would find someone who would love to work as much as I do. <laughs> I was born August 1st, Eileen was born August 2nd. So you know that we're on the phone. Annie calls me at 6 o'clock, 6 or 5. I have Eileen right there. All right, very good. So yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. And, and if I could just add, it's, it's truly an honor and a privilege to serve. Mm -hmm. This community, our students, the staff, and so much so, my colleagues. They give everything they have. And I'm honored to sit in this seat at your behest. So thank you for this privilege. Thank you for this privilege. And you probably won't see me cry. You know, that's not yes. true. I, I've, I've turned into a crumb cake since I sat in the seat. <laughs> also, uh, Brentwood High School hosted the Say Yes to the Dress, so I want to thank everyone who donated a dress for our students. Um, thank you. Yeah, we had a Do you know the number one of how many dresses we gave to our young ladies? We have more than 200 appointments. Wow. So, um, they had awesome. everything, earrings, heels. Uh, first, everything. So all they need now is to get their hair done and they're ready. And our girls will get that done also through the cosmetology room. So. Um, also, Brentwood High School, I believe it was on Wednesday, we hosted the Teatro Mundo de los Sueños and we presented Don Quixote de la Mancha. And it was an excellent perform per a performance. And if you didn't understand Spanish, you will feel the passion. You didn't need to understand. The passion and the energy from the stage was amazing. Our students are so talented. And I want to thank all the advisors. I believe that Dina Grisales is here yes, today thanks. also. Yeah. She's one of the advisors. <laughs> Margarita Espada, she's not here with us today. And Angel Perez mm -hmm. and all of our students. That was amazing. Uh, we are also very excited about our student athletes who are going to participate in college signing day tomorrow. Uh, we're very proud of their hard work and we can't wait. I know that they are going to definitely do greater things at college. So I'm sure that what Annie said, they're going to break records at the college level. We know that too. And also Ms. Rhonda Young, you also received an award. It's called the Impact Award recipient, right? For community service. So, and this one we made for Second award, aren't you being recognized? Also from the Mid Island Club Educator of the Year this year. That's wonderful. Thank you. Rhonda reminded me that we have to wear purple tomorrow, right? For Military Day, right? Children's Day. So we will wear that. For children, yes, we will wear that. Now, this is like a Miss Universe contest. I know Carla can't wait, right? So that you know, Carla and Alejandra, they started uh, this process last year, right? Uh, with the, right, Carla? You wanna get up? You wanna stand up, Carla? <laughs> Let's do it together, Carla. Can we do this together? 
she was interviewed by Newsday um, on Friday, last Friday, and Newsday, yes, come yeah. they were very impressed by the process, and Newsday, I believe, according to Sean O'Brien, we are going, he's our PR uh, staff here in the district, uh, we are going to get a full page because yes. the process, and I, it all started with you, Carla, and your uh -oh. team. <laughs> we want to thank you for this. Um, so we received a total of 9,258 votes, 3,123 were from the community, and 6,135 from our students. And I'm thrilled to announce that our winning mascot with an overwhelming 2,079 votes is for Oh, the Spartans. The Spartans. <laughs> 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 you were the one who was returning, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Carla. it's the Spartans. We will let you know what phase three is going to be, and it's going to entail for the logo now. So it will be designed, and the community, and the students, and the alumni will have the opportunity to present. And you will you know, re receive that via um, mail also. So thank you. We have yes. no way to be the Spartans. It will have to be adopted by the Board of Education, of yes. course, at our next meeting. But we are very excited. Brett with Spartans, huh? Brett with Spartans. Brett with Spartans. Brett with Spartans. OK. Uh, I don't have that. Well, I guess you want a Spartan <laughs> participated in the process. Um, we still have a couple of more steps to go. We have to adopt yeah. it as Wanda mentioned and then go uh, to the artwork portion which will roll out um, to the same individuals and include some more um, regarding the uh, artwork and then we'll finalize what the Spartan logo will look like. Spartans. Spartans. Yeah. Spartans. So, yeah. It's okay. So that's what it is. Yes. Um, I'll open the floor up for a public comment. Is anybody wanting to speak or have questions for the board? We're here willing and able. Anyone at home, the chat room is open. We'd love to hear from anyone. Questions, concerns? Well, they're getting ready to call. Yes. Yes. Wanda, do you want to speak about the autism? Awareness and mental health. This, week, yes. this weekend, we also had the autism walk. Oh my, it, that was absolutely wonderful, right? We also had a keynote speaker as well, right? That she spoke about her experience and how it helped her with, um, with mental health, right? And how many students do we have there? We have so many students and families, right? I came looking at Rhonda because she was part of this. The mental health fair was huge. The mental health fair too, fair too right? Yes. Well over. So, well, well over. Yeah, there were over 70 tables with community <laughs> organizations and student activities um, clubs. Um, they had a the sensory room set up for the kids to go in and play. It was wonderful. We walked for a good cause. Um, we got a lot of, uh, of, of community support. You know, I think it was a phenomenal day. We had great weather. It was a great day. Yes, yes, yes. And Lucio came there too. Lucio was there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Matt. Um, today, uh, we were very fortunate to join uh, a couple of folks today at the high school where we were most uh, grateful for the donation of a large sum of money mm -hmm. from the United Way and PSENG to our robotics program up at the high school. Uh, the teachers there, Tim Zeman and Jake uh, Mulberry were there, as well as the kids who demonstrated the construction and the operation of their robots. And I have to say, one of the most exciting moments was PSNG said that they clearly saw some of the brightest students in this community in that room and said to them, please consider us for employment when you graduate. So as part of that step of the graduation plus, it is part of the opportunity for our kids, and it's building partnership with these companies right here in our own backyard. So very nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
on May 4th, uh, the district will once again host its third annual breast cancer uh, awareness uh, walk, brunch. This year we're including bingo to the mix and um, it'll be pretty exciting and fun. We'll give back all the proceeds to um, students who have been affected or have cancer. Yes. And um, so, mm -hmm. you know, it's a good cause and if anybody's wanting to join us, Please do. We welcome you with open arms. And we're walking. We're not running, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Anything else from the board or the audience? Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to conclude this meeting tonight at 8.44 p.m. I need a motion. Motion. Motion by Brandon Garcia. I need a second. Second. Second by Eileen Harmon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Good night, everyone. Good night.